first off, Tina Turner is without a doubt the queen of rock and roll. Like that is like a, a label that we cannot take from her and cannot, you know, place on anyone else. That is all hers because performance and vocal performance and stage performance and music would not exist without what she did. Good. I feel fine. I haven't had any problems. I won't know until I'm out there. Do you know what I mean? That's the test. <laughs> the type of career and the type of hurdles that she had to overcome in her life and that she did and that she did sort of surpass um, anyone's expectations of what a, a woman could could do past the age of 40 after dealing with immense physical and emotional abuse for so many years was completely unheard of and um, just, I mean, really barrier breaking on so many levels. So look at someone like Beyonce is such a prime example. You know, she's on a massive stadium tour right now. And I think she's, you know, it's it's incredible to think about the type of impact that Tina Turner had on Beyonce's style of performance and stage performance. I mean Beyonce herself has done many tributes to Tina Turner in her career, especially early in her own solo career. She did a lot of very public tributes at, you know, award shows. And um, there was a, a presidential medal of, of honor a presentation that she had participated in. And there's so much that she has very publicly and explicitly said she owes to Tina Turner's style of performance, which is just this like, really kind of, you know, just like wild woman type of like feral sexuality that's also so controlled and choreographed and kind of perfection to see that feels otherworldly that doesn't feel like even sort of like a human being's body should be able to do that on stage. In the final years of her life, she was really able to to escape to a, a quiet life that she really wanted and had had desired. I think you know she was able to find a lot of peace and happiness. And I think that um, you know again, there's going to be so much. I feel like in the coming days, there's going to be so much focus on what she endured early in her life. But at the end of her life, she was really at peace and happy, and she had fallen in love, and she had moved to Zurich. She had lived in a beautiful home and had a, a beautiful final years of her life and was able to really kind of reap the, the benefits of being this massive superstar as she long deserved. So, um, you know, I think that was something that she had made very clear. She was very thankful for and had, had been able to experience in, in her lifetime. Yes, they really quiet. It was about good grades.